Hello everyone, and welcome back to my RuneScape progression series. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be grinding out some more money makers, because in the last one, we really didn't make that much money. I mean, it was, it was a start, but we definitely need to grind out some more. So, I'm just at the Grand Exchange, and I'm going to make gold rings. Um, the bars buy for 80 GP each, and the rings sell for 120, so it's 40 GP margin per ring, that's pretty good. And, uh, alright, I will be back once we're at, uh, Edgeville and show you where to smith. Alright, here we are. We are, um, in Edgeville. We're at the furnace where you can, uh, turn the bars into rings. And, um, it's definitely the closest one in free-to-play, so if you're going to be doing this method, I would, uh, definitely come here. It's, um, gonna make you the most money possible as a free-to-play player. But all you need is, a uh, ring mold some gold bars you just fill up your inventory run it over there hit smith and it's that simple set up uh, bank fillers obviously to make it a little more a little faster withdraw your gold bars and then run over pretty straightforward just click on the gold rings and there we go some nice crafting gains i'm getting like 40k xp per an hour but i'll be back once we um are done uh, smithing the 3k rings here we are at the grand exchange i've sold all 3k rings for a nice profit i think we made about 120k off that and got to 25 or 30 crafting somewhere around there but um that's that's pretty good money it's pretty afk so i think i'm just gonna rinse and repeat that a few times and build up my cash stack a little bit but yeah i will be back after the next flip I think we bought 5k this time, but um, it shouldn't take too long. The 3k didn't really take very long either, so um, yeah, we will be back once we've made some more money from that. Yeah, here we go. So it was 5,500 I think I ended up buying, so almost double the amount that I can make. So I should should be able to make a little bit of uh, some good money off that. I'm just gonna let them slow by head on over there and hopefully they're just bought by the time I'm there but yeah I will be back again oh well, yeah also I mentioned this in the last video but um while I've been making the gold rings and stuff like that I've been coming over here periodically sometimes during the morning sometimes at night just whenever I can to uh offload some plate bodies to the store and um it's definitely helping build my bank up quite a bit the margin on the myth plates is like three or four hundred gp or something silly like that so it's uh it's really good money for a free-to-play method and um the only downside is it takes a little bit of money to buy the mithril ones they're like 2.7 7k each so yeah before you have enough for that i would recommend just using steel and iron plate bodies but yeah um that is why my bank is going to be increasing in value on top of all the gold rings I'm selling. So I just wanted to throw a little clip of that in there as well. And um, yeah, back to the grind. Alright, here we are back at Edgeville. And um, I realized that I could be making sapphire rings for more money than just making gold rings. Now it's less AFK because you only do 13 rings at a time. But the margins right now are actually really good. So I figured why not. Um, we just did a quick price check there, and we're making, like, over 2k per an inventory. So, I mean, like, it's not bad. It's not bad. But, uh, like I said, the only downside is definitely just the AFK factor. It's, uh, I find myself running to the bank. Like, it feels like 10 seconds. It's just super fast. But there we go. 6.5k off that, and I think it was 3.9 or something like that before. So, I mean, pretty good. You make them pretty fast. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be grinding out sapphire rings now instead, uh, alongside doing our plate bodies, and then, yeah, we're just, uh, getting closer and closer to the bond. I can, I can feel it. It's coming. We've also got some real good crafting gains in. I think we're, what was that, 50-some? I don't know. We're getting up there, though. It's, it's pretty quick, and, uh, the money's starting to roll in, so I'm super happy about that. And yeah, we're just going to keep grinding this out. I'll be back at the night, uh, next price check. Alright, yo. So, um, I went to go sell some of my plate bodies off just to see if the shops were empty. And uh, as I was hopping through the worlds, I 
came across a world that had 4,000 iron plate bodies in it. Now, at first, I was like, oh, they're just iron. But, um, uh, the shop is selling them for only 60 coins each. So, I mean, like, I could even just buy them and sell them on the Grand Exchange for, like, 120 coins each. So, it's, like, doubling my money. If I sell them to the shop, I get even more. So, I'm gonna try and get as many as I can. I kind of wish they were steel. It'd be a little better money. But, hey, I mean, I'll take it. I'll uh, at least do a couple inventories, see see how good it is, I guess. But I mean, it's 4,000 plates. I think uh, just a bot or something would have sold them all to that. Like, I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. Let me know in the comments down below what you think happened, but... Yeah, so I'm just gonna bank. Like, there's a bank super close, so I figured why not try and cash in and try and make myself a little bit of free money. But, yes, I will be back once again, once we've bought the plates, and, um, we're gonna sell off some more stuff at that point, and see where the bank's at. Alright, here we go. Um, unfortunately, I only was able to buy about 3,000 of the plate bodies before someone else came and started buying them while I was buying them. But, hey, we'll take it. It was a nice little profit. We, uh, also went and finished up our sapphire rings. We bought some more steel and iron plate bodies. I guess no shortage of those. I'm just going to sell them off on the Grand Exchange and see what we can get. Got a, about two mil coming in from the Sapphire Ring, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, a bond is five mil about around there, so we're, we're getting up there. We're like halfway there, maybe a little closer. All right, let's see how much we made here. All right, so we got about... 1.6 mil around there 1.24 and 320k so yeah around there I know I'd say it turned out pretty good the banks were uh, get, we got a pretty nice cash stack coming in now those plate bodies really have been making me lots of money I can't complain with that but all right time to go sell off the rest of the plate bodies and see how much money we got so here I am trying to sell off some of the plates and um, I kind of got a little bit lazy. I was selling like over 20 per world, which does cut into my profit a little bit, but it takes a long time. Just, it's uh, time consuming, just constantly switching, 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 selling five at a time when you have a couple thousand. So it's like, all right, we'll sell a couple more, speed it up. It's a little bit of loss on money but I just I just want to get the bond as soon as I can but um, maybe about halfway through this I got sick of selling them <laughs> so I just went and sold the rest on the Grand Exchange and then um, after that I got myself some more sapphire rings and um, yeah I think that's honestly the best free-to-play money maker there is like right now I, I tried out a little bit of getting a uh, wines of Zamorak but it just it's too many bots and it really wasn't that great money especially considering how much more afk sapphire rings are but yes um just wanted to showcase a little clip of me trying to get rid of those plate bodies and i will be back once we are done with our sapphire ring all right here we go we uh finished selling off all the plates um Finished making all our sapphire rings, and we're just on the way to the Grand Exchange now. I think after all this, I'm going to be sitting at about 5 mil, plus I think I got full rune or something in the bank. But, I realize that I don't want to go into members and be like completely broke, you know? So, I think I'm going to put myself through one more like full flip of these sapphire rings and get like an extra 500k or something. It will definitely be nice to start members with a, at least a little bit of cash, you know, like even 500k. But here we go, we're bringing in 2 mil. Nice fatty 2 mil stack. Cost us about 1.2, 1.3 mil, so a nice 700k profit again. That's, that's pretty good, honestly, like holy. It only took me like an hour or two as well, maybe a little longer. I should really start timing these things, but... I don't like to then I get burnt out realize how long it's taking I don't know but one more flip finally here we are in Edgeville we're finally finishing off 
um, 70 crafting. Can't believe I got all the way to 70. I think I made like over 10,000 sapphire rings. Like, holy. Grinding free to play to get a bond takes forever. But, um, we're on the home stretch. We're bringing in a nice 70 crafting. I mean, that's pretty good for free to play. Can't complain with that. There we go. And, uh, I'm gonna hop over to the Grand Exchange right now and buy ourselves a bond. Finally, we're here. We're back at the Grand Exchange. I've put an offer in for a bond, and I'm selling off the rest of my plate bodies and stuff, because, I don't know, I kind of got sick of going to the worlds constantly. Or to the armor shop, not to the worlds. What am I talking about? <laughs> but, all right. Here we are. I went AFK for a second here, because I didn't think the bond was even going to buy. At, I think I bought it for 5 mil exactly, but we'll see here in just a second. I can see down in my chat that it has bought, so I'm so excited for that. That's awesome. We've finally done it. We've earned ourselves a bond in free to play. <laughs> Only took what, like 10,000 hours? Nah, I'm just kidding. But that is where I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. And uh, be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Help me out. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be redeeming our bond and doing some member stuff. I, I honestly don't even know what. We'll figure that out. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.